How to create and set up a PayPal account 2023 tutorial for beginners. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be talking in great depth and detail about how you can set up a PayPal account in 2023 in the easiest, most simplest way possible. And uh, obviously we know that most of the payment methods nowadays are totally online, they're totally electric, and you know, 90% of the world has shifted their, you know, money and escrow to PayPal. So that is exactly what we're going to be talking about today and I'm going to help you create and set up the best and most accessible and the most useful PayPal account out there. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, to start things off, you're going to come to paypal.com, okay? And obviously, depending on your country, it's going to go to the same URL as that. And over here, you can see, share the joy of shopping with PayPal, earn up to 100%. You can check out with crypto, touch-free payments, etc. So, overall, PayPal is a pretty fun user. And you can see, join the millions of users worldwide. So, you can see right now, there's around, you could say, 400 million? Yeah, that's around 400 million or maybe even 4 billion if my counting is wrong. So that's how many users PayPal has nowadays, which is absolutely out of this world. So we're going to be become one of them. Now, there's two choices when it comes to creating a PayPal account. Okay, you can either go with a personal or a business account. Now, a personal account is obviously for, you know, personal, you could say just for fun, you know. So sending money to your loved ones, um, sending money here and there from your bank account to maybe your business, you know, shopping spree, food, all that stuff, you know, buying gifts, buying things for yourself. That's what personal should be for. And even here you can see shop and buy, send and receive, manage your money. This is basically for a person who doesn't want to get too technical and just wants a normal bank account to themselves. So that's what personal PayPal is. Then comes business PayPal, which is the game changer. So the business PayPal is used for online checkouts, accepting payments, financial services, and business operations. So it's more for entrepreneurs and people who actually have online marketing or online financing or, you know, transactions that are mainly done online. That's what PayPal business is for. And, uh, that is what we're going to be making an account on today because personal there's not a lot to talk about personal personal is just a basic you know personal bank and there's not a lot of features or not a lot of things to talk about in it so we are going to go ahead with business so to go ahead with business you're going to go ahead to sign up and the fun thing about business as well as this is that paypal is not available in some countries right but business what that does is it doesn't care about country business can be from anywhere in the world Personal, on the other hand, is obviously not available in some countries. So let's say you live in the, in some, you know, third world country in the corner of the world where PayPal personal isn't there. You can just create a PayPal business account. There's no worries. So just switch to business from personal over here and click on get started. Okay. Now, once you click on get started from here, what's going to happen is you can see it takes you to the whole sign up bit. Now, once it brings you through the whole sign up bit over there, it's going to ask you for a lot of things when it comes to, you know, creating a business account. So first of all, it's going to ask your legal first name and last name, and it's going to ask you for your email address. So I'm going to go ahead and add my email address, and then it's going to ask you for a password. I'm going to go ahead and add a strong and well password that I'm going to remember. And once you've added your password over here, it says, hi, John. Ready to use PayPal? Activate your account by completing your profile and confirming your email. So we're going to go ahead and start activating our account, okay? Because that is how you're going to fully uh, set up your account and fully fulfill the details required on your account, okay? So they're going to say, let's start building your profile. This helps activate your account so you can move money, which describes your business best. Now, in the case you don't have a business, you can just go ahead and click on individual. But in the case you have a company, you can just click on company. I'm going to go with individual. Okay. We're going to use our first and last name for our business. Here it says, what type of business is this? Obviously, it's an individual. You're going to add the different dates of birth. So I'm going to go ahead with mine. And once you add your date of births, it's going to ask you, what's your home address? Where you live most of the year, et cetera, et cetera. So you're going to 
you know, make sure to add all of those details in. So let's say once you've added that, you're going to add the city and uh, you're going to basically go ahead and add your states as well. And once you've added those, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and add my state real quick. And once you've added your states, it's going to ask you for your SSN or your tax ID number. Now, here's the thing. Social security numbers are, you know, you may not have it in your country, right? So to change that, to, you know, differentiate yourself from that, you can actually go ahead and change your account's language or input, okay? And what that will do is it will realize that you may not have a social security number. So you can actually dodge the social security number thing. And uh, here you can see update language. You can update it to whatever language your country is in. And uh, that can be a lot helpful. But uh, yeah, that's, that's just to get rid of the social security number thing. Uh, but yeah, for now, then you're just going to, you know, complete your account by adding your business. You're going to add your company. And once you've added all those things, you're going to finally come over to your basic dashboard of your paypal.com account okay so let me show you what your dashboard is going to look like and how you're going to work around your dashboard with the different things you can keep in mind okay so that is how you're going to fully set up your business account add your social security number add all the details about the business and even if you don't have a business just add something random uh it's not they don't get really into depth with things when it comes to verification so once you've done all of this, here it's going to say set up a PayPal checkout. So you can choose ways to integrate, uh, you know, different um, sellers and buyers as well. And once you do this, this is your basic uh, fulfilled set it up PayPal dashboard where you can see different things. So there's activity, sales, finance. These are different channels and different features that you can work with. Then there's pay and get paid. So if you want to pay people, you can make payments by sending out money and putting out payouts. Then there is get paid where you can create invoices, request money, paypal.me, which is, you know, a PayPal link that you can send people out, QR code, virtual terminal, and a whole lot more. So yeah, this is pretty much it when it comes to, you know, creating and setting up a PayPal account for yourself. And, uh, you know, it's not very difficult. The thing is, the individual or the personal account when you make it for yourself if it's available in your country then please do go with personal but in the case that it's not available in your country you can always go with business because there's no limitation to account creation and you know sending money and getting paid money or when it comes to paypal so yeah that's pretty much about it for this video now, if you enjoyed watching this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making more for you. But yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching till the end and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.